Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is 35 degrees and sunny here in Wares Valley, Tennessee. Today's gonna be an awesome day. I'm gonna do a quick video tour of the new log cabin we just bought here. And then we're hitting out with some, I think we got a Ferrari 458, GT3 RS, Prowler, and Performante heading out to do the Foothills Parkway along with Tail of the Dragon. Let's get started. We got a real log cabin. Off to the side here is a few hundred acres of forest. Down here early this morning, we had turkeys running by. We got turkeys. Who wants turkey? Really, really cool. We got two garages, pretty good sized garages, so I can keep a sports car, probably UTV on that side. Let's walk in and check it out. As you can see, these are real logs. So it is an actual real log cabin. Off to the left, we got a bedroom over here, bathroom over to the left, and we walk through here. The views are just amazing of the Smoky Mountains outside. I'll walk out in a minute. Over here, we got dining room. I'm setting up a lot of stuff, so things are pretty dirty. Automating a lot of the house. Over here, we got the kitchen area. Out through this door, we got a pretty good sized garage, actually. Enough to keep a car here and a UTV over here. We went UTVing last time out. And just had a blast running through the Smoky Mountains and do some off-roading. Over on this side, we actually have another garage. It's a split garage, same size. So we can keep a four by four or something else in here. Now we walk into the great room. This has like 26 foot ceilings up here with a ton of windows. So you get amazing views. As you can see out the windows, it just looks incredible. What a great place to be. The weather and the roads are just amazing. As we walk outside onto the outside deck on this level, we got pretty cool hot tub. In. Go ahead and flip up the cover. Back. And pull it back. And there we go. Jets, jets, power. Oh! This is gonna be nice. Look at this thing go. So on to the upper deck here. Full wraparound deck looking up at the house. What an amazing view out here. All this kind of forest and wildlife area. We, we got bear families over here, turkeys, all kinds of animals. Down there we got a little waterfall going down. I'll see if I get that turned on later. Wow. Wrap around the deck over here. We got a little sitting area. Let's head upstairs now. Upstairs, we got a huge loft area, which I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with yet, but what I'm thinking about is home theater over here, big screen, maybe one of those front projectors, 120 inch. Over here, we're gonna get a small bar set up, maybe some shuffleboard, pool table. Let me know what you think about this space. It's really, really big. We could do a lot, a lot of really cool stuff with it. Over here, we got another fireplace. And then here we got the bedroom, master suite. Of course, it's very, very messy. And over on this side, we got the master bath. Pretty big space in here too. And of course, you can go to the bathroom and have your view out of the Smoky Mountains. All right, coming back down the stairs here. Oh, there's my Wi-Fi router. And actually, there's the Simply Safe that you saw me do a previous video for. Another fireplace down here. This is a buck stove, which is really, really, well, what I'm told for. I don't have not let many fires living in South Florida but this is supposed to heat up the house really, really good. It's like some, some special kind of fireplace. Some other details you can see up here. These iron rings were actually made by the blacksmith at Dollywood. If you're not familiar with Dollywood, it's a theme park up here in Tennessee, named after who else but Dolly Parton. And of course, from the loft, you get this pretty, really good view. Looking down over the family room and out to the mountains as well.
All right, so now we'll head downstairs to the lower level, and this is where the house needs quite a bit of work to get it sorted how we want. So down here was a previous home gym for the previous owner with a ton of really cool gym equipment, which I would have loved to use up here, but for me, I don't need that gym equipment here. Not worth the space it takes up. But as you can see, a huge area down here. I just built these two bunk beds. What a pain in the butt. But nevertheless, down here we're doing this game room, TV over here. We're actually gonna build out two bedrooms. Closing this space here, bedroom here, bedroom. Knock out some of these columns and, and install some support beams. So bedroom, bedroom. And then down in here, we're gonna build out this space as well. Over here, we're gonna have two bathrooms and then a private office space down over here. I'm thinking air hockey, foosball, and then up in the loft area, we'll have pool table, shuffleboard, and the home theater. All right, so heading back outside. Out here, we could enclose this in, but I think we'll just leave it open. Outdoor, we could have outdoor ping pong or some other outdoor games out here, maybe cornhole. Now, if you watch the Tycon Tesla video, you'll see that I had trouble actually uploading my video from here because we had no internet. But what I got installed now is a point-to-point -point ubiquity system which goes from there, somewhere down there. And I got about 50 megabits, not bad. I did get a lot of suggestions in that video to pick up the Starlink system from SpaceX or Elon Musk or Tesla, whatever it is. I applied for that, so I am waiting to get that. Got this waterfall system, which I'm gonna figure out how to turn on in just a couple minutes. Well, the back of the house actually, I think looks better than the front because it's got that peak up there with all the windows. What a beautiful day. I gotta see how to turn this thing on. I think that box over there, there's not enough water in it, so I think I gotta fill it up with water, get this thing running. Got it running, coming down the waterfall here, walking back up to the house, and all the way up through here. Pretty cool feature. Over here we got this wildlife area, which is I think 400 acres. It's just open forest, and they're not gonna build here. So you could do some hiking through here. There's definitely a couple families of bears. If you remember the Tennessee, this area actually burned up pretty good a few years ago. The fire actually came up to the side of the house. This is actually how close the fire got to the house. I mean, this burned down from the fire, walking in a little bit more. Some of the, some of the charred debris over there as well. There's actually, I think about six houses in this little neighborhood burned down from those fires. And they got some firewood for the fire. And I guess I could chop those up too. I think I need to pick up either an ax or maybe a little electric chainsaw. All right, so that's a wrap of the quick log cabin tour. I can't wait to get this lower level finished, add a few bathrooms, add a few bedrooms, add an office that I can get up here with a lot of friends and family and just have a great time. Now I'm gonna join up with Dave, Matt, and a few others, head out to the Foothills Parkway in Tail of the Dragon. All right, so here we are, beautiful day here in Tennessee, and I'm here with Matt. What's up? We're doing Tail of the Dragon today in his badass performante spider huge spec on this how much is the msrp uh 364 364 what a car so i got my buddy dave over there with the ferrari 458 spider we got a prowler coming out and i think we got a porsche coming out too yeah he's coming out gt2 rs yep oh gt2 rs no gt3 rs i'm sorry he's getting a gt2 but he's got he's got the slow one now and a gt 3 RS coming out. We're gonna head out to the Dragon, just cruising. Yep. Nothing crazy today. Super easy. But nevertheless, uh, what a beautiful day. It's like 50 degrees. Yeah. Amazing. Top down Nothing weather. like South Florida. We're gonna have a great time today. We can't go too fast today because Matt actually trashed his tires out in the Dragon last time. As you can see, he's got a picture. I'll throw it up. He's gonna, in the corner there, but you can see he rolled over the tires here and there's actually no, no tread on the outside. It's completely flat. Cause you tear it up, you go too fast. Uh, there's no such thing Who's as got too the record fast. on this place? <laughs> will not say. You will not say? <laughs> no. I don't have it. Not me. I can't do this. <laughs> Here is actually the cabin where I stayed at when I came up and looked at the house we just bought. My friend Dane's over this place. He let us stay here for a few days while we were looking at different cabins to buy right here. Sorry, 458, Dave. Congrats on the new GT. Thank you. Why don't you have this out there? Where's the GT? GT's in Miami. GT's in Miami. It's All right. I was there today. You bought this car. I got a picture of you signing the check. That's right. 305000 Expensive 458, wasn't it? Oh yeah. And that was used, right? Nice. So we got Capristo exhaust.
good on the Performante though? I don't know, we have to it's find close. out. It's, it's close. close. It is from the seatbelt digging in me or trying to hold the camera for a couple minutes but yeah. race seats are not optimal for no time. these are the bucket seats we got towels behind us but wow what a ride this car does really well out it's, here that's pretty good yeah for the, for the weight for the a, weight it's a 3680 pound car so it's a, right it's a big girl yeah it's okay yeah where'd the ferrari the gt3 rs and the prowler go they'll be here they'll yeah. be here in about 10 minutes yeah <laughs> 25. Maximum speed on the Dragon was 125. Tire temps are 158 in the front and what? 140s in the back or yeah. 140s? One, 140s in the rear. Yeah, we definitely got them up the temperature there. Yeah. So the 675 up here absolutely dominates this car. This car you've got to earn um, actually going fast because you've got so much inertia that you're trying to change left and right. Right. This, this amount of curves. I mean, there's 318 curves in 11 miles from where we time it. Right. It's, it's oh, here they are. Miles. Hey, they're here. We're going to take them five minutes to catch up. <laughs> Who knows? I'm still waiting for the prowler. Well, the prowler's going to be an hour. <laughs> well, nice to see you.
Ah.